Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating your first Gatsby site. So we're going to create our Gatsby site, and then we're going to look at some of the default folders and files that Gatsby creates for us when we make that new site. And then we're going to serve our site onto the internet, and we'll be able to see our site running on our local server. So let's get started. This is going to be an awesome tutorial. First thing I want to do to create my Gatsby site is open up a new terminal window. In my case, I just have one down here in my text editor. And in order cr to create our Gatsby site, we need to enter in some commands into this terminal. So I just want to type Gatsby new. And now I want to type in the name of the website that I want to create. So this will be like the name of your Gatsby site. In my case, we'll just do GA underscore site for Draft Academy site. And now, what we want to do is enter in the address of a project template that we can use. So Gatsby actually has a sort of like a hello world introductory project set up on GitHub. And all we have to do to access that is just uh, type in this URL. So it's uh, github.com forward slash Gatsby JS forward slash Gatsby starter hello world. So just enter this in after that um, Gatsby new or yeah that Gatsby new command, and we'll be able to get that Gatsby starter project uh, that we can use, and that's what I'm going to be using in this tutorial. So I'm just going to click enter, and Gatsby should go out and basically go out to GitHub, get that project template, and then start installing it onto our machine. So this could take anywhere from like one to three minutes. It really just depends, but it's probably not going to be like super fast. So that's done installing, and for me it took about a minute for that to uh, install everything that it needed to install. And once that's done, if we come up here into our file explorer, you'll notice that I have this new folder that was created inside my documents folder called GA site. So this is the folder that Gatsby created for our project. So I'm just going to open this up, and I want to sort of talk you through what all of these different things are inside of here. It might be a little intimidating if you haven't work with something that looks like this. Before I do that though, I just wanna show you how we can actually build our site and see it online. So the way that we can do that is by coming back down here into our terminal and I wanna type the following commands. I'm, well, first off, I just wanna change directory into that new site. And then I want to type npm run develop. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna start up a Gatsby development server um, on our local host so that we can test our website out and sort of use it to develop. So this is like mostly what you're going to be using when you're testing your site. So that's finished running and you'll see that we get all these success messages. I do just want to point out some of the stuff down here. You'll notice that um, this site is running at localhost 8000. So localhost is like a local web server that's on your computer. So if we go over to localhost 8000, we should be able to see our website up and running. And I just have this open here in my web browser. So I'm just gonna refresh and you'll see localhost 8000 is now hosting our site. It's a really simple site, it just says hello world. So this isn't like anything crazy, but this is actually our site running. And so any changes that we make uh, to our site will show up here on this development server as long as that server is running. So back over in the text editor, again, I just wanna talk you guys through sort of the default files that you'll see now, there are a couple things in here related to Node.js, and one of those things is this Node Modules folder. And you'll notice if you click down in this folder, there's like a bunch of other folders inside of here. This is just something that's used for Node.js. You're really not gonna have to worry about this too much. Now, you're gonna need it, so you don't wanna delete it, but you know, as far as like having to modify anything in there, you probably most likely won't have to. Next, we have this public folder. And you'll notice that there's really not too much stuff here in this public folder. And this public folder is basically the folder that represents like your finished static website. So you'll see later in this course, we can build our website, which means we can compile all of the Gatsby pages that we write together into our finished static site that we can set, that we can then serve onto the web. And all of your like static web pages and your finished static site is gonna go inside of this public folder. So this is basically just what our site would look like now. And we could put these files on a web server and it would be our site. 
The next folder is probably the most important folder and it's the folder that you're going to be using the most. It's this source folder and this is where we're going to store all of the pages for our website. So if you're building like a blog site, you'd store all of your blog pages in here. If you're building a normal website, all, again, all your pages are going to go in here and you'll see we have this pages folder by default and then we have this index.js file. Now, because Gatsby is built on Node.js and more specifically Gatsby uses React.js, all of our files are actually just going to be JavaScript files. And so the content files that we write and uh, a lot of like the files we write for our components are going to be JavaScript. You can also use other formats like Markdown and, and stuff like that too. But for now in this default structure, we just have this pages folder and then we have this index.js file. So really the source folder, like I said, is, is the most important folder and it's going to, it's going to be where you're spending most of your time. There's also some other files down here. This dot git ignore file. This is just a, a file that's used with git. And then we have these package.json files. And this is another file that's used with Node.js. And there will be a couple instances where we're going to have to modify this. But for the most part, the package.json file basically just manages all the dependencies and all sort of like the overall settings of your Node.js app, which is what we have right here. So package.js package.json file is important, but for like the normal use cases, you probably won't have to touch it that much. So like I said, for the most part, this source folder is going to be really important. So that's a basic overview of the folder structure in Gatsby. And we also got our site up and running on that local host. So now you're ready to go out and start adding content to your site and really start digging deep into Gatsby. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.